Could Adolf Hitler be in heaven? Now, I know at first glance, that sounds like a pretty simple question to answer. But once you factor theology into that question, is the answer really that simple? We're going to take a hard look at this question today and the answer because it has to do with the most important topic there is, salvation, on today's edition of Live Prayer. What problems are you dealing with in your life right now? Do you feel like giving up? Times are hard and you're not strong. Well, I know the answer for you. And it will lead to the truth. Don't look back to yesterday. Now there are answers. Tomorrow's on Welcome to Live Prayer. It's waiting there. Here's your host, Bill Kelly. You can make it through. There is a hope for you. And welcome to Live Prayer. I'm Bill Keller. It's good to have you with me on this Wednesday morning. Welcome to the program. As today, we're going to take a look at a very interesting question with an answer that may not be as obvious as you think. Could Adolf Hitler, right this moment, be in heaven? We're going to talk about the day, the theological implications of that question and answer. I Trust me, it's going to be a very interesting program because today we deal with the most important topic there is, salvation. I'm Bill Keller, founder of LivePrayer.com. It's good to have you with me today. Of course, Live Prayer is the world's largest interactive Christian website. We reach a little over 2.4 million people every day via the Internet. I would encourage you, I would encourage you to come visit us if you have not done so already, www.liveprayer.com, that's the URL. When you get to the website on the left menu bar, click on the devotional sign-up link. There'll be a little box, you put your email address in there, and that will automatically add you to the distribution list of the daily devotional I've written every day for nearly 11 years now. It goes to about 2.4 million people all over the world every single morning. It's free, doesn't cost anything, great way to start the day. Also, if you ever miss one of our programs or want to go back and rewatch one, go to the Show Archives link on the left menu bar. We keep our most recent five programs archived there. You know, this is going to be an interesting program today. It really is. Uh, because today we're going to take a look at a question that seems to have such an obvious answer Yet when you factor in the theological implications of the question, the answer isn't quite as black and white as you may think. It's not quite as automatic as you may think. Salvation is by far the most critical uh, issue that we can deal with because it determines where your soul will spend all eternity. Will you spend eternity in hell forever separated from God your creator or will you be in the glories of heaven forever with God your creator that's what is on, that's what's on the line and people don't understand the reason I do this program every day the reason I've given my life to the gospel the last 20 years is for the simple fact that the eternal souls of men hang in the balance trust me when I tell you Satan isn't playing games Satan is serious about taking as many souls into the flames of hell as he can because we know from the Bible that's his eternal destination. But for this short season of human history, he's loosed and he's trying to bring as many down into hell with him as he possibly can. I know for some who don't believe this is almost a nonsensical joke. Others may not have great faith, wonder if there's any truth or validity to all of this. These are all issues that you're going to have to come to a place of belief in your own life. I can't force you to believe. You know the old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make... Listen, I can't force you to believe. That's something only you can do. But I can sure give you all the facts on both sides of the argument and let you make your own choice. And that's really what this program is about each morning. 
I'm not here trying to cram. I get some nasty emails. Oh, you cramming your beliefs. I'm not cramming anything. You don't, you, you don't like what I'm saying? Turn the channel, please. You ever heard of that little thing called a remote control? Use it. Go watch some, go watch some cartoons or you know, go watch porn down the channel. That might be more to your uh, liking. I don't know. But by all means, I'm not cramming anything down your throat. I didn't force you to, I didn't tie you to a chair and duct tape your, 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 your hands to the chair and put toothpicks in your eyelids so you had to watch me. No. If you don't like what you're hearing, please change the channel. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I'm simply out competing in the marketplace of ideas, not just for people's minds, but for the eternal souls, because that's what this really boils down to. This is a battle. Good versus evil, Satan versus Jesus, for the eternal souls of men. And that's what I do each morning. I battle Satan for souls. Adolf Hitler, could he be in heaven? Should be a very easy answer, but it's not as easy as you think. I've got a break coming up. When I come back from that break, we're going to ask that question, and we're going to look at the theological implications of that question and answer it in totality. It's an answer you don't want to miss. Stay tuned for more of Live Prayer. I'm Bill Keller, founder of LivePrayer.com and the host of the Live Prayer TV program. Today our nation is in spiritual freefall. We legally slaughter over 4,000 innocent babies. We made a mockery of God's holy institution of marriage. We bow down and worship every false god and idol man has created in his rebellious mind. Our government sides with the enemies of Israel. My friend, this nation is doomed to experience God's judgment and wrath for our sins and wickedness unless we turn back to our Creator and His truth right away. It's our only hope. For the past 11 years, I've helped to pioneer evangelism on the internet through the LivePrayer.com website with unique content not found anywhere else in the world. The daily devotional I've written every day for the last 11 years that's impacted tens of millions of lives worldwide and led over 400,000 souls we know of to faith in Jesus Christ. Through our ministry team that sent personal responses to over 70 million emails for prayer, our award-winning TV programs seen in cities around the country the last seven years, our YouTube videos with millions of views, as well as my appearances on Fox, CNN, and other programs. I'm committed to bringing together Christians of all denominations and backgrounds together as one to lead this nation back to God and biblical truth. Today, I need your help. We're syndicating this live prayer TV program in cities all over the country, which will be used to rally Christians in one unified voice. Will you stand with me? Everyone can pray. Everyone can sacrifice something to help me lead this nation back to God. Simply pray. Ask God what he's asking you to give to help me today. For some, it may be a gift of $5 or $10. Others, it may be $20 or $50. Still others, $100, $200, $500, $1,000 or more. God will show you the amount, and he will bless you for your obedience. You can give a gift through your major credit card or PayPal on the LivePrayer.com website under the donation link, or you can mail a gift to Live Prayer 6660 46th Avenue North, St. Petersburg, Florida, 33709. My friend, thank you for standing with me. Thank you for helping me call this nation to repentance, to turn back to God and His truth. Our time is short. We must act now. Will you help me today? God bless you. And welcome back to Live Prayer. Listen, thank you to those of you who have gone out of your way, taken the time to send me emails, notes of encouragement, letting me know you're praying for me in this ministry, how much this program has meant to you in just the few short months we've been on. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. And for those of you who have been led by God to support what we're doing here at Live Prayer financially, that. That's great. It really is. It means, the, it means more to me than you'll ever know because you keep me here each day. We literally are reaching tens of thousands of people every morning here in the